All right, hello everyone. So we're gonna go over how to go about getting your images off of your phone or your camera and into Photoshop so we can start working on them. Now there's a lot of different ways we could do this. Uh, for example, we could go into Lightroom and do some manipulating there and then import them into Photoshop. But I'm not sure how many of you actually will have Lightroom. I think the basic package, the student package does come with Lightroom in Photoshop, but we don't have to go through Lightroom to do this. Um, but let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. You can create new. And it doesn't really matter what we have here because we're going to import an image and it'll create a new document for us. But, you know, just to, re to recap here, you know, resolution 72 pixels and inches. Color mode should be RGB and 8-bit. And then I have 11, 8.5 by 11 here, landscape. But go ahead and just hit create and command plus or showing up as equal but command plus and minus will zoom you in and out okay and let's just go right up to file make sure your phone is plugged in or your camera and images from device click on this and here we have tom's phone that shows up and the images here are all on my phone and it's chronological so the top ones Right, are the most recent. I have this nice photo of Lanakai Beach. And the bottom left here, create new Photoshop document, create new layer in front most document. Make sure create new Photoshop document is selected and then go ahead and hit download. Now this will import that image into Photoshop so we can start working on it. And depending on what resolution you're shooting at, some of these images might be massively huge. So let's go ahead and make these a standard, and I'll cover this again once we get into the next lesson here, but just to resize this image here, we can go up to image, image size, and yeah, we can see 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. This is a really, really big image. We can see 34.9 megabytes. So make sure this little link here is on, so it has the little brackets coming on and on and uh, to the top and bottom of width and height. Uh, this just makes sure that whatever value we put in for width or height, it scales the opposite accordingly here. So let's keep our longest dimension. Let's keep the height at <clears throat> 16, and that'll scale 1600. That'll scale the width to 1200 pixels. And let's just hit OK. And this gives us a little bit more of a working size we can we can deal with here. So that went from 34.9 to 5.49 megabytes there. So freed up some space. And again, it's still, the resolution is still quite nice. I mean, we can, we can zoom in eh, well enough. That guy right there gets a bit pixelated as we move in, but this is a good size for, for what we're going to be doing here. So that's how to get your images from your phone into your device. And what I'd like to do now is go ahead and we'll close that. We can don't save. Close that. And let's go to Laulima. And let's go to our, our class. Okay. And I'm going to change this to student. So this is what you would be seeing. And click on your resources. I think I was already there. And then lessons and week two. And here we see I've added some exercise images I'd like you to work with later after we go through this. But go ahead and click on Trumpet Still Life. And that pulls up a new window. And close this. And you could simply just click and drag this onto your desktop if you'd like. Or you could right click and save image as. Yeah, whatever you like, Trumpet Still Life, put that on the desktop. You can create new. Okay, so we have the image here. And again, you could right click, save that to your desktop. You could click and drag. And then when we come back into Photoshop, we could open. And then here we have Trumpet Still Life.
So there we go. And then I have that on the desktop as well too. Okay, so let's check this image size real quick. Okay, so this is pretty big too. I'm gonna make that same adjustment there. Height to 1600, width to 1200. Okay, so that's how we go about importing our images. I'm gonna take a quick break here and start another video on how to go about starting to manipulate and do some adjustment layers here to prepare us for the weekly exercises.